And these semis are best of five. Okay. In the top left, we have our Protoss player, Root Caliber, who was looking good last game but just ran into a whole bunch of stim bio. And in the top right, we have our Beastmaster, who just doesn't know how to lose, and he's always the green Terran, looking like a nice army men set from Team Gravity. We have Demo with a capital M. Is anybody guessing the Mortal Kombat guesses? No one, no one playing? Is anybody listening to me? Woo, 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 woo! Caliber vs. Demo. Let's see if we, uh... Bobby G got it? Bobby G, I gotta respect you, man. You're hanging with us. You're having fun. And you got the answers. The answers are Kano and Sonya are not playable in Mortal Kombat 2. They come back both from Mortal Kombat 3. And in Mortal Kombat 2, if you can make it to the end of the game against um, Kentaro, I believe is his name, yep, Kentaro and Shao Kahn. Shao Kahn starts the match by going, you will die, which is pretty badass. But you can see in the background... That's an, that's an excellent that's an excellent game. I might even give that point to him for the Super Smash knowledge. Yeah, whoever that Super Smash knowledge is, I'm just telling you right now, there's a guy in this room that I guarantee you can beat you in Super Smash Bros. for 64. Everyone who challenges him loses, and I don't like to give him credit for anything except for how good he is at that fucking game because he's so goddamn good at it. His Pikachu is off the fucking chain, and uh, he makes my Link... Look like an embarrassment as we have this probe going, take my shield off, and then I'm out. And this SCV's like, I'm gonna have to be repaired. But he gets a good scout on the two barracks with no gas and an expansion, so he kinda knows what's going on here. And the probe says, I'm, uh, you're a prick, and I'm gonna stab you a little bit. So, yes, the answer is K Kano and Sonya. They are in Shao Kahn's chambers, tied up like this. Sonya's like, oh my god. They're on the same outfit as Mortal Kombat 1, which is one thing. She's fucking dirty. She's fucking smelling. And you know she smells like sexy because chicks that are, you know, she's got big ass boobies. She's got those tight green pants back in the early 90s. Sonya's sexy. Kano was kind of a jag. Uh, he's ugly as shit. His fatality was the easiest one. It was back, back A. He ripped out your heart. It was excellent. Only if you entered the blood code, which was Abacab, like we already went over. And as far as the secret characters in Mortal Kombat 2... He's also correct. It is Smoke and Jade and Noob Sebat, who is actually derived, his name is derived from the uh, last names of the creators of Mortal Kombat, Ed Boon and uh, something Tobias. Something but, but Tobias backwards and Boon backwards is Noob Sebat, who was by far the hardest one to fight. He was all black. He had twice the speed of Sub-Zero, and he literally embarrassed you. You had to win 50 games straight up one-on-one -on -one to even challenge him once and the first time he challenged you he raped your ass and i hate to be so harsh but it was such a pain in the ass to sit through 50 fucking games and then have him just be like fight and he ra rapes you and then just uppercuts you for a fatality it doesn't even give you the pleasure of killing you it's a bummer but back to this game warp gate research on its way twilight council on its way i imagine this is a blink all in which, someone going CC first with two racks. Uh, this is a good build. He has no Marauders, but he's going to have no Stim. And this Stalker says, dude, I like you, but I respect your moves. And he backs up. Lost his shield, lost half his health. And, you know, Protoss people have a, in the lore, they have like a lifespan of a thousand years. So a Stalker that's got balls to just walk up to a bunch of dudes and like risk a thousand year life. You know, he's probably a little psycho. But that's beside the point. Good answer, Bobby G. Looks like you're taking home the prize here, buddy. Love it. We got a lot of StarCraft left. We got a lot of Quizzo left. A lot of questions left. And here we go. I don't see too much action. I see some gateways, some shit, some slow growth factory. So I'm going to go to the next question. In 1982, Data East created an arcade game called Burger Time, which is a personal favorite of mine at the Barcade down in Northern Liberties in Philly. Love it. There's a guy on the chalkboard, they have all the high scores. There's a guy named Ben. 
who has like the high score in like most of the games there, but his high score for Burger Time is literally fucking mortifying to someone who has a real life because there's no way that this dude didn't just fucking play Burger Time his entire adolescence to get the points he did. But nonetheless, you are Chef Peter Pepper and you have to navigate over large ingredients to make even larger hamburgers while also avoiding Mr. Hot Dog, Mr. Pickle, and Mr. Egg. To defend himself, the Chef Pepper has a weapon that he uses and he has a limited usage of. What is that weapon? I will give you a hint. It is not the chronoceptor. What is the weapon that Dr. Pepper uses against Mr. Hot Dog in Burger Time? As we see our Protoss player going for the robotics bay. Double mine production. And plus one on the infantry. A little supply blockage here. And I'm sure he's got a couple supply depots going, which he does. He's got double supply depot production at the same time. What does Dr. Pepper use to defend himself from the evil hot dog, my friends? Bobby G is the only one playing, I think, but he's all right. He's going to win the prize. He said Pepper? Excellent. You have a little bit of pepper to throw in their face. You're like, ah! Gah! The egg probably enjoys it. He's probably like, mmm. Pepper and eggs is banging. The hot dog's like, who the fuck puts pepper on a hot dog? And the pickle... No one gives a shit what the pickle thinks, because no one likes pickles, let's be honest. But good job, Bobby G. You're going to have to give me your address so I can mail you this gift card, brother. That's a little weird. But I appreciate you hanging out. I appreciate you playing. Romulus, step it up. What do I drop? Who likes pickles? I like pickles. You do? I love pickles. Fuck that, pickles. Chick-fil-A is the only exception. Pickle slices on Chick-fil-A are absolutely fabulous. I absolutely agree with you. These bases are absolutely saturated. He needs a third command center. Uh, I don't know if the Widow Mind Drop did anything. I've been talking too much about this damn trivia. Not enough about this Dark Templar shrine that hasn't made one goddamn Dark Templar yet, has he? Fucking, what are you doing, bro? I guess the gas ain't there, but... He's going to go for a third Nexus, which is smart, but there's a, there's a Dark Templar with his dual Reaper, but if he touches these dudes, you know, one scan, and it's over. But he does, he definitely, what a scout, because he sees these, he sees this moving out. I think he should have waited, waited, and waited. It's a lot of stim by with a couple mines. 1-0 upgrades. Obviously, uh, stim is about to finish, so he moves out. Nice timing attack. He's going to obviously cancel this third Nexus, and I don't know if one Colossus is enough. There's no medevacs, but we'll see. This was what we saw. Uh, this is kind of what we saw last game. We'll check it out. Bobby G, son of a bitch. Hope you like shopping on Amazon, buddy. Is anyone else even throwing answers down, or is it just Bobby G? So the turn player here has got two medevacs. He does a quick pickup with that widow mine. He's going to drive it right over here, knowing that there's not enough for photon overcharge. And at least he does anything but draw the army out of the way. And the stim bio is going to probably come right up this ramp. And if anything, target this immortal and the colossus. The only things that really matter to this Protoss army, the robotics creations. God, a colossus would be so cool to ride in. I would feel very safe if I was inside a colossus. They just step over shit. More bio coming. I mean, the production's not slowing down. He's got double... Supply depots, he's got not any upgrades going, which is surprising, but double Viking for the Colossus, which might be a little overkill because there's only one. Uh, but again, he's got Storm Tech almost complete. Plus two. Here we go, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good force fields, good force fields by our root player. Couple feedbacks on the Medivacs. Not enough Protoss, though, and the good and the Demo's got a great concave, and that Colossus went down, and that's that goes down the caliber. Goes, Damn, Demo is a fucking tank! Obviously, it's best of three, so...